I just got delivery of this Land Cruiser today. It's from Japan. It's been in the US maybe three years in New Jersey and just came west to California. I feel like the Land Cruiser gods have smiled upon me on this one. You see, I've had Land Cruisers ever since 1995, starting with an FJ80. And then I went to a 98, a 2001, a 2004, a 2008, and so on. And then I started, for fun, reconditioning 100 series. And I probably have gone through about 20 over the last two and a half years. Then COVID hit and prices just skyrocketed on the, the 100s and the 470s. But during that time, I got a, a FJ62, a 40, um, a 200 series. My wife has the LX 570. We've had that since 2008, about 220,000 miles. I have the 200 here. I have the green machine under wraps and that FJ80 in the garage and another FJ80 at my office because I had to drive in this morning and drove this home. So I got to go get that. But let me show you the video of when this delivered this early this morning. Well, I just got a Land Cruiser that's pretty darn rare. Built in Japan, all Land Cruisers are that come to the US. But this was a Japanese Land Cruiser. Uh, sorry, Japanese market Land Cruiser. So this one was meant for the Japanese market. It lived most of its life there. And it just arrived on this truck. There's my man who brought it all the way to New Jersey. <laughs> We got here early this morning. So, minus getting a little bit of a cleanup, this thing is just a total beast. I will name her Godzilla, because built in Japan, lived in Japan, and now it's here in the US. Let me cross the street here after a couple cars pass. But holy cow, this thing's monstrous. This thing's like at least a head taller than me. Right hand drive. It is dirty, coming all the way from New Jersey. I actually traded my red FJ40 plus cash on top for this diesel HZJ1. All right, gonna enjoy this thing. It's just a monster. All right, let me get my man paid here. And we will post a lot of videos on this thing. All right, so after work, I came home and I washed this thing up, washed it, clay barred it, so I can uh, ultimately uh, compound wax it, um, well, buff it, wax it, polish it tomorrow. But I gotta say, this is, um, I never thought, I never looked at these trucks until an opportunity came up to trade it with my red FJ40, that if you're subscribed, you've seen that uh, spring over axle lifted FJ40. So we did a trade, I had to add some cash on top and pay for shipping, because this is out of New Jersey. So mine shipped east, and this one shipped west. And I gotta say, I am so impressed with this build. I mean, I've had, you know, all different year Land Cruisers that were all in the US market, except for an Iron Pig, it's the one I haven't had, maybe one day. But this one, it's just a beast. I mean, this one's on, on 37s, as you can see, and it's lifted and it is spring over axle. Let's get underneath and, and show you that. So it's quite lifted, as you can see. My FJ40 is also spring over axle. And it's just such a commanding view. But inside this, the quality, everything. Um, my business partner has a G63 wagon, Mercedes. And, uh, you know, it clicks, the doors sound great. It's just also a quality build, and those are so popular these days. Well, that's what I noticed with this. Everything is just solid. And that's, uh, there's car cover, there's a front windshield frame, there's the rear tire carrier, so a bunch of stuff in here. I haven't even emptied it. I was so gung-ho to um, 
to get it all washed up because it was a little dirty from traveling across the US. Now in its new home in California, permanent home. But this one is like a fully loaded, that's why it's the ZX on the back, VX or ZX, we'll see that in a second. But it has the factory roll cage, color match to the interior, but this is metal. The same sliding doors as a FJ80, so some, you know, familiarity. But, you know, the one thing I notice is just the quality build. Watch, when you shut this, solid. You hear that? <laughs> this one solid zx there we go zx and it's a diesel the diesel is pretty phenomenal i thought it was going to be slow it isn't slow it's got a lot of torque so i think it's like 210 torque and 125 horsepower let's get out of that sun and this is the frp top which means this whole top comes off that's why it's got the roll cage I'm gonna do some things like I thought that was a uh, reflection when I was seeing it in pictures it's actually blue kind of paint I guess it used to be blue I'm gonna put some uh, dark gray charcoal wrap metallic wrap but you know here in the US we get in here to drive it right but guess what no it's not left-hand drive it is right-hand drive but just everything inside the seats you know, of course, when it's upholstery back in the early 90s, anything in leather from Toyota cracked. It was like, I call it crocodile leather. Tons of room in the back. There is a second row seat. Windshield comes down. If you take the top off, you can actually put the windshield down. Again, quality. And I've got a, a bar like that for the other side. So it's kind of funny. This has got a 4x4 four four metal tech bar on one side and it's got the running board on the other 37 inches on the tires this thing is huge to give you an idea i'm six feet tall and i can barely reach the top that's me reaching the top so this thing has got to be about 87 inches tall with my reach everything clean as can be the reason why it's got a windshield frame that's where rust happened right there so even in Japan, this lived you know, almost its whole life in Japan, and it's only got 96,000 miles. That's, that's nothing. That's one-tenth of the life that this engine should go. These engines go a million miles when, when maintained right. And 24 volt too, right? So there's been some modifications to make sure this winch works properly. I love the winch. Kind of like an old school look, but I think it's a 2017. But I got some plans for this truck. You're gonna do some nice things to it. I mean, it already is super nice, don't get me wrong. But, um, oh, and there's a tell, tail sign that it's Japanese. The good old mirror. And I'm using that right now on my drive home to make sure I see the little dotted lines because you know, being right-hand drive, you're close to the sidewalk, right? So you wanna make sure you're not crowding the, uh, the lane divider. So I'm watching the little dashes in the lane in the lane divider going through that mirror and i just kept singing to myself i think i'm turning japanese i think i'm turning japanese i really think so so i love it so that's the other running board so maybe i'll put those up for sale or keep them and put the other metal tech on but just drives great solid fun as hell very rare and i think uh, I, I, you know, I looked at a, I haven't seen another, this is an HZJ73. I haven't seen another one here. Or maybe if I did, I just didn't take notice. Um, when they're sitting, you know, original, they're okay. I, I love this one because it's lifted. It's just a beast. You pull up beside an Escalade, you're looking down into their truck. <laughs> this thing is so tall. All right, let's crank over that diesel engine. It just starts right up too. Just love it. It's got a good exhaust, so it's pretty quiet. It's not too loud at all.
just purring like a kitten. That's a great sound in diesel. My channel's all about Land Cruisers, so if you like Land Cruisers, uh, check it out, subscribe. I have an FJ40, the one you saw under wraps, I off-road with that. That one is just as tall as this without the hardtop. With the hardtop, I think it's slightly taller because it's sitting on 40-inch tires. Same thing, spring over axle lift, which obviously is the, the biggest way you can lift these rigs, these body-on-frame trucks. But there it is. I think eight with with the imports of 25 years so this one's what it's 29 years old 1992 I think we'll start to see more of these and I think the value for good quality ones will start to climb because these are phenomenal I think we'll put some uh, recovery boards or maybe a tire in the back the problem is that tire carrier is not strong enough to hold a 37 so I might put fuel uh, like a roto pack and maybe roto packs or max tracks uh, recovery boards back there might look cool give it a cool look because I think it's kind of boring in the back right now as it sits but boy oh boy diesel my first diesel and I love it and I think uh, the US didn't let these diesels come in probably because it would kick the butt out of uh, the American <laughs> big threes diesel engines this this engine is phenomenal all right, well, cool. So definitely hit the subscribe button and notifications because I will be posting a lot of Land Cruiser stuff coming up. Uh, cool stuff like mounts for your bars and off-roading. I'll take this thing off-roading. It's fully functional. It's not going to be a mall crawler. It's going to be a rock crawler. So I'll take it to some cool spots here in Southern California. All right, well, thanks for watching and uh, watch the evolution of this bad boy and uh, some of the other trucks. My FJ80, which... I got uh, two of them, one of them just to move the slee rear bumper and some cool aftermarket parts. I picked up a, that white FJ80, if you see it on my channel, for a great price and it's got like $20,000 in aftermarket parts that uh, I'm going to be swapping onto my Otis, the Moonglow Pearl um, FJ80, which is a keeper and I think this one is also a keeper. Alright, thanks for checking it out.